Minecraft Java Edition has a lot of secret controls. You may see your favorite creators moving items around their inventory light and fast, or bringing up seemingly complex overlays into their game and start to feel lost. I've been playing Minecraft since 2012, and even I didn't know some of these secret controls, so hopefully you'll learn something new today. Hey, what's up guys, Kale here, and in this video I'm going to show you some of the secret controls and keyboard shortcuts for Minecraft Java Edition that the game itself doesn't tell you. Whether it's a debug shortcut or just general inventory navigation, we'll be taking a look at it later on in this video. Also, if while watching this video you learned something new or there's something that I missed, let me know down in the comment section below and I'd love to talk about it. I should start out by first saying that this video won't go super in depth on every control in the game, like how to use WASD to move or the difference between the right and left mouse button in the game. I'm going to be going under the assumption that you A already know how to do this or B can figure it out pretty easily by hitting the escape key to go into the pause menu, going to options and then controls and then you can see what the standard controls for the game do or even remap them to other inputs if you'd like. That being said, a few of these controls in this menu that you may not have known, F1 removing the HUD as well as your hand, F2 taking a screenshot, and F5 changing player perspective just to name a few. We'll get into one of the most useful function commands, F3, later on in the video. Now with that out of the way, let's look at how to navigate Minecraft's inventory system more elegantly than simply clicking and dragging items around. First of all, if you hold shift and either left click or right click on an item in the inventory, you can quickly move whatever that item is from a container, such as a chest, into your inventory and back, or to the first available slot in your hotbar or inventory. Or if it's a shield or a piece of armor, you can quickly equip it to the proper slot simply by shift clicking. In addition to this, you can also quickly move your shield from your hotbar to your offhand by pressing F and quickly equip armor if you aren't already wearing any by right clicking while holding a piece of armor. If you want to separate a stack in half, you can right click on it to split it in half, or if while you're holding it, you can hold the left mouse button and drag it over the spaces that you want to fill, or if you just want one of each item, you can do the same thing by holding the right mouse button instead. You can quickly move items to or from your hotbar by using the number keys 1 through 9 at the top of your keyboard while hovering over an inventory slot. This will also swap items with whatever is in that hotbar slot. Now let's say you wanted to take all of a certain item from a chest. You could of course shift click each of these individual slots into your inventory, but you can also double click on the stack of items to group them into a single stack of items. If there is more than one stack available, it will still only grab a single stack of items but you can, however, move multiple stacks of items by holding shift, then double clicking on the item that you want to take while holding any item. It doesn't even have to be the item that you're trying to grab. This is especially helpful when moving large amounts of the same item into your inventory. The next shortcut uses the middle click button on the scroll wheel of your mouse. It's also called pick block in the controls menu. The main use of this, like the name implies, is to pick the block from the world around you and move it into your hotbar if you have that block available in your inventory, or to quickly and easily switch to that block if it's already in your hotbar. If there's an empty slot in your hotbar for that item to go, when you middle click it will go to the first available empty hotbar slot. If there is no empty slot, it will replace the item that you're holding, unless it's enchanted, at which point it will take the place of the first slot that doesn't have an enchanted item in it. Now you may be aware that pressing Q will drop an item from your main hand, but did you know that you can also drop the entire stack that's in your hand if you first hold control, then press Q. You can also very quickly drop items from your inventory by holding control and Q, and then simply hovering over the items that you want to drop. Now, before we get into a few of the creative mode exclusive controls and shortcuts, only like two of you are subscribed or something like that. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to consider subscribing and hitting the little bell. It's free and it's fun. Also, did I mention it's free? Anyway, back to the video. So when in creative mode, you have a few additional shortcuts that are available to you. For example, when in the creative menu, you can hover over an item and then use the one through nine keys to move a full stack of that item into your hotbar. You can also middle click on items to create another full stack of that item. And if you hold down the middle mouse button while also holding an item and just hover over inventory spots, you can quickly fill up your inventory with a certain kind of block. Then if you want to quickly clear your inventory, you can hold shift and click on the X right here in the survival inventory. This will also destroy any armor that you're wearing. You can save up to nine hotbar layouts in creative mode for future reference by holding C and then pressing any of the one through nine keys to save it to that slot. And then if you want to load that toolbar later, you can hold X followed by the number that you want to load. 
The last set of controls and shortcuts all involve the F3 key, which by itself brings up a whole bunch of text with debug information such as FPS, chunk updates, and available memory. Some of the F3 controls that I'm going to show you are more useful than others, as you will find out. But one of the most essential shortcuts, in my opinion, is one that you'll only need to use once, and then you're set. F3 and H will toggle advanced tooltips, which also shows NBT tags. And basically what this means for the average player is that you'll see the exact durability of your tools and armor, which is insanely helpful. Now you could go through and try to remember every single F3 shortcut combination, but if there was only one that you needed to remember, it should definitely be F3 and Q, because this brings up a full list of every single F3 shortcut. But very quickly, I'll go through each of these and explain very briefly what each one does as well as what it might be useful for. F3 and A will reload all chunks, which can be useful if you're experiencing any weird chunk loading errors. F3 and T will reload your resource pack, which is useful for resource pack authors, as well as if you have any texture bugs ever, this may fix it. F3 and P will toggle pause on lost focus, which is especially helpful if you're a streamer like me and frequently alt tab out of the game to moderate a Twitch chat and don't want the game to pause every single time that you try to do this. Holding F3 and pressing C will copy your current coordinates but holding F3 and also holding C for at least 10 seconds will trigger a manual game crash after the keys are released. And if you decide you don't want to crash for whatever reason, you can simply let go of C before the countdown. F3 and B will bring up the hitboxes around entities, which can be useful if, let's say, you drop things into the water and you want to try and find them easily. If you're trying to get a villager out of a boat without harming the villager, or if you're fighting the Ender Dragon, whether that be normally or in, say, something like a speedrun. If you press F3 and D, it will clear everything in game chat. And F3 and N will toggle between the previous game mode and spectator game mode. If you press F3 and G, it will show the chunk boundaries immediately surrounding the player, which is useful for certain redstone farms that rely on chunk boundaries. Holding F3 and pressing escape will pause the game without actually bringing up the pause menu when this is possible, such as in single player. And finally, holding F3 while pressing F4 and continuing to hold F3 will bring up the game changer menu to quickly change between game modes only when cheats are enabled or if you have op on the server. Now, hopefully you found these shortcuts helpful. If so, good, because I actually have two more bonus shortcuts that are crazy helpful as well. If you shift click an item in the crafting recipe book, it will move the maximum amount of items that you can craft into the crafting interface. And you can trade with villagers insanely fast by shift clicking the item you want to trade, such as fish, paper, or rotten flesh, then simply pressing space to instantly restock the items you have available to trade with. Anyway, I really do hope that you learned something new to help you control Minecraft like a pro in this video. And if so, it would help out a ton if you left a like, or if there's a shortcut that I missed, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, my name is Kale, subscribe if you aren't already, catch me live on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye